Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw He-Man from Masters of the Universe Revelations. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, here we go. So it's time, right? It's time for the big boys. I mean, literally the big boys, you know? <laughs> uh, they, let's, let's just get it out of the open. This is old. This is, it's time for something new. Hey, I love you, He-Man. That's great. I grew up with you. I remember buying the toys from a long time ago when I was a little boy. All that stuff. But you know what? It's dated. It's time for something new. I'll be the first one to say that. And what I mean by that is, sure, you can give them the, the old, uh, um, you know, loincloth and all that stuff. You know, I'm not complaining about that. Not at all. But... You're kind of dealing with the time of if if we're gonna say they're from Eternia and they're they're still they have some technology, right? They do have some tech, but they don't have a lot like pants, things like that, you know? It's like, okay. Let me look at my sketch real fast. Okay, just have to look at my sketch. Um I get it. I get it. You know, there's a time where things are different, okay? But you're kind of playing on the the barbarian, right? The old caveman type kind of thing, or the, the Conan days, you know? That's the look, that's where it came from. So why not, don't take yourselves too seriously, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, they're trying to make him, you know, uh, smart and, and, and heroic, and, and the same thing with all the other characters, you know, they're all woke and uh, current with the times and whatnot, but I think, I think you need to embrace it for what it is and say, you know what, not, not, not so much make fun of yourselves, but don't take yourselves too seriously is what I'm trying to say. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a caveman in a loincloth for Christ's sake. It's a, it's a skeleton man. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you, you can't, you can't try to take it too seriously is what I'm saying. So I think it's time to embrace the craziness of it and just say it is what it is and yes there's a crazy man with with half a sword and uh, a skeleton man chasing him and that kind of stuff it's like just do it go crazy because it's kind of like superheroes they were all this was made superheroes as well it was all made in time when you didn't have to explain anything it was just about creating and having fun right awesome now when you see a man in tights with underwear over his his pants you know you <laughs> you look at it and you're like well, what is wrong with that guy why does he dress like that you know but you know you don't think twice about well it's superman that's how we grew up you know but it's like yeah but just embrace that look it's a sillier time it's it's a, a different kind of place and uh just go for it you know now that being said i haven't seen the new show i'm all for it go for it time to do fun stuff and enjoy it and everybody embrace your what do, what do i say embrace your uh i've heard it some someone else say this before it's like um embrace what you love or uh, something to the fact uh um, hang on, if I want to do like this, okay. Um, celebrate the things you, you love, right? That kind of thing. That, that's what I'm trying to say is, you know, celebrate that we got a new, a new Conan, sorry, <laughs> a new uh, He-Man, and, and, and that's fantastic. People that love it will see it, and that's great. Um, oh, I need to see his, oh, you know what, I, I, I'm looking at anatomy right now. I've got a bunch of images of, of anatomy, so I'm looking at musculature, like where it should go, how to make it look, you know, heroic, and, and what muscles go where. I'm not gonna draw them all, but I, I would like to at least make him, you know, somewhat 
accurate to to represent you know the 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 muscular heroic man that he is you know um so anyway what i was trying to say is you know celebrate what you love and that's fantastic i'm not knocking that you know it's 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 he man but i'm just saying i think it's time to just you know acknowledge that it's a little crazy you know a man let's take batman a man who dresses up as a bat and drives around at night how are people not going to follow his car and say there's a batman and take pictures and all this stuff you know and <laughs> you know that and so so that's what i'm saying is like just go with it just embrace the craziness of of he-man and the the skeleton man chasing him the skeleton man that talks you know what i mean it's like and I'm not making fun of it at all. I'm just saying appreciate and just em- embrace your absurdity. You know, it's like, just, just go for it. Go for it. So again, that being said, I don't know um, anything about the show yet. I- I'm recording this before the show's out. It's what I do with a lot of stuff before the show's out. So I can have this ready for you. But that also means I haven't seen it yet. So hopefully it's awesome. Hopefully I I would like to be wrong. I would like to be like, oh, okay, well, that's how you do it. That's how you make a crazy skeleton man and a half sword uh, show work. You know, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. That's what I'm going to say. But um, I'm excited. I'm excited. So like I said, I I don't mean to bag on it. I don't mean to say... You know, it's a silly thing, but but it is. I can appreciate it and I can call it a silly thing because I love it. You know, I'll say the same thing about Star Wars. You know, there's a lot that that doesn't make sense. But like this show and Star Wars, all of it, it doesn't have to make sense. It's about having a good time. You know, Uh, my my place where I'm coming from is don't try to make sense just embrace the craziness of it you know that's where i'm coming from that's 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 my whole my whole uh rant about about he-man You know what I'm trying to avoid? The figures. Oh my gosh. I don't need to invest in another set of awesome toys that have 20 bajillion different kinds to them. They look really cool. And also, also, I'm not going to binge watch the show. I, I don't know about all the other characters coming through. So, just giving you a heads up that uh, I'll, I'll be drawing them as I watch them. So, I don't know who's in it yet. That kind of thing. Um... But yeah, I, I don't know who's coming, but I have seen some pictures of figures. So I kind of do know who's coming, so that's why I'm excited to draw. But again, also because I saw these figures, I I, I, I want to get them. I want to, oh, I want them so bad, but I can't afford to just jump in to another uh, um, toy line. It's like it's a lot for me. It really is. I'm already getting to Black Series. I'm investing in G.I. Joe now. This is crazy. This is crazy, but awesome. Again, I love it. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Because again, these are these are some awesome times that we get to enjoy some really cool things. So again, back to what I was saying. Celebrate the things you love. Buy those figures. Play with them. Put them on your desk. Show them off to your friends. Why not, right? They're expensive, though. That's the problem. (laughs) That's that's my problem with I can't afford to 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 invest in a whole other what would you call it? Uh, Another franchise. A whole other franchise. Again, that has twenty bajillion characters. They're awesome. I love them. And I, I'm going to try to draw all of them. 
but it's like this and we'll see, it was the other uh, uh, Ninja Turtles. They got a bunch too, you know? Um, but it's just, I can't, I don't have, I, I, I can't, I'm gonna end up doing it. I know it, I'm gonna end up doing it. <laughs> okay, here's the other thing too. Uh, his haircut, let's get back on that too. It's the old, it, it's time for a change, you know? Oof, I can't change pictures, hang on. Um, it, it's again, made from a long time ago that it's a bad, bad design because just it, when it was made, that's it. And so it's time for, again, embracing that you are over the top, crazy 80s hair or, or change it up, you know? All right, I think I'm good with that. That's a, that's a good enough sketch. Took me a little bit longer than I expected, but this one might be another long one. Uh, Red Guardian was long, but it'll be worth it. Mostly anatomy is what it's gonna be anyway. So let me erase some of these sketch lines real fast and then we can get moving. But what I do is I usually just throw a bunch of lines down trying to get the placement, position, and the proportions. And as I get more confident with those, as I'm just throwing lines down, I start pressing harder. So those first few lines, sketch lines, they're so light, they'll disappear really easily once I start erasing. But the confidence lines take a little bit more pressure. So when I'm lightly erasing, I'm getting rid of the sketchiness, I'm keeping the confidence. You do the same and we'll do amazing things in this world together. Amazing things. Okay, uh, ooh, he's got, I gotta try to remember that, he's got this thing on his arm. I should be able to get to it, but uh, we'll see. So I say we welcome all the skippers and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that the fine point can't quite find. Sketch the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're gonna go. If you wanna see more He-Man, check out that playlist right there. This is where it starts, but the playlist is gonna start to build up. But actually, if you wanna see anything, check the playlist first, do a search. I may have already drawn what you're looking for, so uh, do a search, see what it is, find it. If not, give me a shout, I'll see what I can do. I'm gonna jump right in with the, sh with the Sharpie pen, because I can control the line widths a little bit better. Now, his hair's kind of all over the place, because I kind of want to do some of those lines first, because I know where his eyes are gonna be, and I want some of the hair to be over it. Something like this, right? There, now I just know, I know where that's gonna be, so I want to draw his actual lids like this again I want some hair kind of coming through so I just want to make sure I'm not drawing through lines and uh, that'll give me a good place to start so now that I know where that is I'm gonna add the retina the color part of the eye like this a little bit big bigger than I thought but it's okay I'm gonna make it work I'm gonna hit the pupil just in the center like that now it's too small for me to draw the lines underneath but I can do this kind of come back like that and imply the bottom line, right? Like that. Because if I draw it all the way through, it's gonna bleed, I don't wanna do that. So, uh, and again, before I draw his his um, eyebrows, oof, lost my words. I need to finish up some more of this hair just to give myself some start stop places because I don't wanna draw through it on accident, right? Same thing over here, okay. And also I gotta be careful because if it's gonna be blonde hair, I don't wanna draw all the dark lines. I wanna keep it simple. Um, so speaking of, uh, I'm gonna give him thicker um, eyebrows, like black. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna color them in brown. I want them to stand out. Something like that. Okay, awesome. There we go, I like that, I like that a lot. Let's finish up the face, then we'll come back to the hair. So I'm gonna put his nostrils right about down here. Oops. Something like that. I wanna draw the bulb of his nose and all that stuff, but I'm gonna do that with color. I'm gonna keep it very subtle, and it shouldn't be a dark edge right there unless you're turning. Well, at least the way I draw, and that's what this is. This is how I draw. 
give him just a little bit of a bottom lip like this. I'm gonna do more with color. So it's kind of like he's smiling, huh? <laughs> um, but that's okay. I mean, it's happy, happy. Okay, wait, is he He-Man at this point or is he Prince Adam anymore? I mean, just because he changed clothes doesn't mean he changed names, right? I don't know. Anyway, let's give him a little strong jaw. A little strong uh, hero, heroic jawline. And I'm thickening my lines up because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're gonna see a huge difference in line width. So I'm trying to match kind of where it's going. Um, let's see, uh, I wanna do... Okay, so I'm trying to think of where the hair is gonna go too because I wanna make sure that I don't draw through that on accident. Something like that. So that's gonna let me go up to here. up like this so I'm kind of planning what hair is gonna go through and what I what I can and can't draw I guess is what I'm trying to say there you go and there's the ear right there but again falling behind the ear the the hair so at least I got my start stop points I know where it's gonna go sorry I had a cough I had to mark down where that is so I can edit that out. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so I'm gonna draw his hair and I've got it kind of kind of parted, kind of just falling over. So I'm kind of just doing something like this. That way it's not really brushed, you know, it's kind of that whole, that whole you know, caveman uh, 80s hair, you know? And if you wanna hear my rant about uh, his hair and his style and his look and all that stuff, you should go back to the Sharp, or the, sorry, the sketch portion where I go on about my theory of what He-Man should be doing. But again, that's just me. Don't listen to me. Do what you want. All right. And so, see, I'm kind of building, building the hair, building the look. being able to add this thicker edge. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm just explaining why I do it, because of these Sharpies. And as a matter of fact, if you're working with pencil, it might look a little weird if you do it. So yeah, maybe you don't want to, it's okay. There we go. A little bit longer on the side, but that's okay. We'll just say that it's flowing. I gotta stop drawing the lines out because I said it's blonde hair, so we don't want to make it, you know, black by drawing every single hairline. We want to leave leave it open so we can color. All right, but I just got this thing about just wanting to draw the hairlines, and I'm doing it some more. Watch like that. Okay, I gotta walk away. I gotta stop. Now, I'm gonna switch over to the big Sharpie because now we're working on the big stuff. So his neck is gonna come down here. And see how that line is super thick? Watch this one, watch this. See how thick that is? That's what I'm talking about. I wanna match how this is just to make it consistent. That's all. You don't have to. I'm just talking about how I do it. All right. Okay, I'm gonna try to get moving because I know we got a lot to do on this one, um, even though it's mostly anatomy. So let's draw his his uh, chest piece. Like this, and it looks like it's just going across that. Ooh, I think I did that too high. That was his actual, his sternum is what I was drawing. Oops, so I guess we're moving it up. It's moving up now. Okay, I can do that. I can live with that. And just so I know, I'm gonna say it's right here too. That will move the entire thing up and I, I, I'm, I'm working with my mistakes is basically what I'm doing. So that's okay. It happens sometimes. And then I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna follow my sketch now. But uh, I know it looks like I'm just kind of floating pieces, but again, I kind of have it planned. 
or I'm kind of working with what I did plan just to follow the plan and fix my mistake. Now he's got that little, that H. So I, I sketched it out. So I'm going to see if I can do this. I'm kind of doing it all together. Consistent and the same all the way through, right? So it's going to go up here. Oops, the picture just died. It's going to come across. And I, again, I'm going to try to hurry because I know this is not the most important thing. And point like that. Okay, not too bad. He's got his little um, bedazzle. I'm trying to think of the word. His little bedazzle jewelry on here. What's funny is I was talking about, uh, you know, the silliness of some of these costumes and stuff like that. It's just, it is what it is, you know. You never really think about, well, who makes this stuff? You know, if, if they're living in Eternia and, and they wear all this stuff, who puts it together? Who decides to put the, the bedazzled jewelry on and stuff like that, you know? That's why, again, I say embrace your silliness. It's it's a silly, silly show. Just go ahead and and just admit it. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright. Okay, so again, working on muscles. So let's work on this arm since we're already here. This row shoulder is raised up come down through like this. I'm going to draw his side of his arm here. And I'm going to come back and add just a little bit, but again, it's muscle, so I can't really draw a lot of lines because it's not black edges. It's just, uh, well, the, again, the edges are, but the insides, it's very subtle muscular movement. You know what I mean? It's like you wouldn't draw a black line right there, but you got to draw something you know, to try to give it something. So, <laughs> you see how good I am with words? You gotta draw something to give it something. This is why I'm a drawer, not a speaker. There's his boobs. I mean, come on, call them what they are. If we're gonna call women, let's say women have boobs, well, men have breasts as well, they got boobs. All right, there's the underside of his arm this to his wrist again let me just throw a little bit of lines in there just to define a little bit of that musculature because uh, it's it's there you know I just uh, can only put so many lines in before it gets over the top before it gets too crazy right something like that something simple you know all right uh, so this hand is all you're seeing is this because he's holding his his sword but you're just seeing if he's holding it like this and he's got it twisted right like all you're seeing is this part so what we're gonna draw is the side parts that you can't see Pretty much it. The rest of the fingers are all wrapped around. So that's it. I just have to remember. Oh, he's got a bracelet on. Oops, no bracelet on this side. Sorry. I just got to remember to do that one over there and hope I get it right. Um, for his sword, I've sketched out a line. So let me see if I can follow this. Excuse me if I don't get it right, but I'm going to try. I know this is a very important part, so I'm going to try to get it right, but again, eh. What's funny is, is, is I have to give them credit. They did a pretty good job of making a story out of nothing. You know, when they first did this, it was just, let's design toys and let's make stuff. And then, then they had to build a story out of it. So, you know, good for you guys for... For, that's the handle for actually making something you know 
Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna eyeball the rest of the sword and, and I'm not too worried about whether it's perfect or not. I'm just gonna do like this and go across. I mean, I'm gonna try, don't get me wrong. There you go, that's not too bad. Let's use the ruler to get a straight edge down the middle. Something like this, right? Ooh, he does have something else. Hang on, let's do this, hang on. As you see, this, then it breaks up. Then it does something different because of the way the sword kind of splits, right? So this hand is pretty much as she's doing something crazy like that, you know? So again, we're gonna raise this shoulder up or just not even raise it up. We're just gonna show the musculature. Bicep, forearm to the wrist. All right, so this pec is going up here like this, which is gonna touch to this part of his bicep, which is still gonna connect to there as well because that's his armpit, right? And then forearm and you know what I forgot what I was talking about the whole he's got he's got this here I can do it like this let's just do this he's got this what do you call it like a, a protector right there we go and unfortunately I like to make it extend past the uh, the arm like that to make it look like it's actually on but yeah my mistake that's as good as we can get right there. Something like that. So let me add again some, some muscles. You know, because he doesn't have any muscles. So let's add some real fast. His bicep should be a little different than that, but that's okay. No, I'm not going to worry about that. We're just going to say again into the armpit and this does have some armor detail there we go all right and this hand I just have pretty much doing something like this so I'm gonna stick his thumb out like this His index finger, his uh, middle finger, his ring finger, and then the pinky. The pinky, we're gonna super stretch it out like that, like really, really stick it down. Like he's he's really extended those fingers. that again I wish I had done that a little bit different but uh, you know it is what it is all right so now we're just working down to his loincloth so I'm just gonna show his his uh, muscles like this gonna work down more to his uh, belt I guess is what he's wearing I mean I say it like I don't understand what a belt is but what I'm just saying is this is all very primitive for being a a kind of cultured uh, society right again go to my sketch portion where I rant about that <laughs> it's like is he a caveman why is no I know why because of when this was made you know and and what it was developed into all 
right. Looking good. How's yours looking? Awesome. Okay. This is where, when I ask you questions, this is where it's your turn to say whatever you want. If you want to say potato salad, go for it. You, you answer however you want. Because I'm always going to say, awesome. You're doing a good job. Because I expect that you are. Okay, well, not so much I expect. I, I, you know, I believe that you are. I believe in you. That looks good. I like that. Let's see. Let's give them a little bit of a, a, a peck line. Something like that. Oof. All right. So for his loincloth, his pants slash um, fuzzy underwear, I'm going to do, I'm just going to do it with the big Sharpie and just kind of just do some sharp edges, right? Because again, silly, silly design. I get it, I know when it was made and I can't make fun of it, but there's, again, it's time to move on. This is a silly, silly thing and either make fun of it or don't try to take it too seriously, you know? Again, there's a talking skeleton, man, we haven't even got to yet. But we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there and it's gonna be fun. Oops, be careful. See, I always do that. I, actually, I always accidentally draw too far into the, the edge there. All right, good enough for that. So now, again, we're just drawing muscular legs. That's pretty much it, pretty simple. So, down to his knee, bring that one in like this. Bend it here to the, uh, of the boot edge, I guess. Close that off. Let's go ahead and just finish it, then we'll do the other one. Again, more, more fuzz. Uh, is it loincloth style? I mean, is it fur? Who knows? You ever see the documentary on uh, uh, how, was it the, the toys that made us or something like that? where they talk about the designers of uh, He-Man and all that stuff, it's really good. You need to watch it because they're, it's even kind of funny. But it's very super interesting how they just kind of made it and just went with it, you know? Like they, they said, just make this and then we're gonna make a toy out of it, you know? Okay, so see here and again, I wanna do a bunch of lines for muscles, but it needs to be done with color. See how crazy I went up there? I'm trying to be more subtle over here. So again, a little boot edge coming down like this. Front here, wrinkled up because it's super bent. Down to the front of the shoe, the toe, bring it back around. Let's give it a little bit of a heel. So they can make heels, but they can't make pants apparently. No, they can make pants because doesn't Prince Adam wear pants? Oh, he man. All right. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna go too crazy there. Let's draw the other leg. This one's sticking out. Muscular coming into that knee where you can't grow muscles. So it's gotta come back in, right? Then you can come back out. But edge of the pants, not edge of the pants, edge of the boots. All right, let's give him some, some knee. one thing we can do we'll say there's muscle there muscle here right where he can flex but that's it I want to do more but again I'm trying to be subtle all right so choppy choppy uh, boot edge fur maybe okay and 
again. We build on that. Ooh, that, be very careful. Don't do stuff like that. Cover up your caps or just don't put it on top of your art like that. That was a very rookie mistake. Luckily, I didn't uh, lose anything like that. All right. All right, so let's just finish up this boot. This leg is coming through like this. And this foot is more pointed out like that. Again, this is coming through. The heels down here coming through to the toe. Like that, give that heel. Again, it's at a different angle. Okay. Something like that. Just again, just for the, the crease. The, the the wear and tear of the boot so there you go i say we take care of the rest with color so that is he-man from masters of the universe revelations so here's how i colored it tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our discord group just have fun and make it your own because remember this is how i draw you draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.